Hi everybody, thanks for watching this today. You're looking at a really nice French press coffee maker. This is actually made by Ikea. This is an Oupe Freta. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, capacity on this is about 34 ounces, so a decent size. I should get you through the day if you're a starving college kid uh, like I was, and coffee got you through it. Uh, like most French press coffee makers, they're not incredibly easy to clean, but they do a pretty good job with this one. Construction-wise, this is made of stainless steel, uh, heat-resistant glass, and polypropylene is the plastic that they're using for this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use it. I've already got my hot water ready to go here. But with all French presses, what they first recommend they do, because we don't have a heating element like you do with a coffee maker, is to go ahead and put hot water in this to kind of pre-warm the glass. So we'll go do that. I'll be right back. Nice and warm, so you don't have a tepid cup of coffee, you have a nice hot cup of coffee. And that ought to do it. Price on this is not going to set you back a ton. Um, I'm just using some Seattle's Best Coffee. It's a real dark, rich coffee. I'll be up till midnight. One of the great things about these French presses is that you really don't need a lot of electricity besides what you uh, use to heat the water, but that could be gas too. So there you go. Again, 34 ounce capacity on this. Don't touch the glass. Now we put the plunger in and just slowly press that down. There we go. And the aromatic experience of a French press is so much better than the automated one. The smell just infuses into the room. You don't have that loud gurgling sound. Overall, if you're into the coffee for the experience of coffee, which as most people age or get a little more sophisticated, they do like, not to be a coffee snob, but that's how it is. You can see all the uh, coffee grounds are down below. The micro screen is doing a really good job. If you ever have any resistance with a plunger, Stop. You could break the glass. It's a warning they have. So we're ready to go here. That's down. I'm going to go get my IKEA double walled cup and we're going to enjoy this. I like these little cups of coffee too. These little cups, they're only about five ounces, but that double wall that they have on there insulates your hand and alternatively keeps your coffee hot longer. So here it is. Okay, I did that off screen because I need a haircut and a shave. But that smells wonderful. Just a different flavor altogether. Um, different feel, different sensory experience than with an automated coffee maker. So that's it. Price-wise on this, you're probably going to pay it under 20 more likely under 10 just depending on where you get it i'll put a link in the description if you want to learn more about it down at the bottom in the write-up if you want to purchase one for yourself or just learn more that is a euphreda french press coffee maker by ikea 34 ounces a good deal thanks for watching